China has more influence in American government than it ever has before, from the intelligence agencies to public health. One of the few people who studied the extent of that influence is Lee Smith, the author of The Permanent Coup, How Enemies, Foreign and Domestic, Targeted the American President. Tucker just sat down with him for a brand new episode of Tucker Carlson Today. You'll like this part of it. the amount of damage done to the American working class. And, and what we're looking at is, is, is absolutely shocking because if we look at what the Biden administration now represents, which the Biden administration is really at the head of a very large American establishment. Again, it's not just at this point, not just the corporate and the political establishment, but it also includes uh, the academy, all these universities that are taking money from the Chinese and misreporting the amount of money that they're taking from the Chinese to basically sell their research, uh, to basically sell their research off the books. If you look at the cultural establishment, we talk about the NBA, we talk about Hollywood, but it's also, there's the art world as well. The art world, the, 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 the art world has been kept afloat more than a decade by, uh, by the Chinese consumer market for, if you look at the auction houses, if you look at the different, the different galleries that still exist now, whether it's in uh, Los Angeles or whether it's in New York. So it just cuts across, it, it, it's, just, it, it's just an enormous streak cutting across the middle of America, this, you know, what I call the China class. It seems like eluding in some ways, yeah. but it also seems this is so depressing, I hesitate even to say it out loud, but almost like the dynamic between the United States and Great Britain after the First World War, where great British country houses were right. basically dismantled and shipped to the United right. States, right, by yeah. some of the richest families in the, in the right. U.S., where, you know, Americans married off their daughters to, you know, the children of penniless title right. holders because they wanted to, et cetera, et cetera, right. et cetera. But the United States basically took a lot of English culture and kind of shifted over to the U.S. because it was an ascendant empire feeding on the carcass of a dying empire. Right. Do you yeah. see any parallels? No, absolutely. And this is what, of course, a lot of, you know, a lot of American literature is about at that point, uh, before World War One and then after World War One. Right. It's about uh, it, it, it's about the growing it's about the growing American uh, growing American aristocracy, the business aristocracy, feeding off the uh, feeding off the or, or picking off the corpse of the British aristocracy. Yes. What's happened here, which is different, is that um, again, it's the American elite who have dismantled this country and have sold it off for parts. There was no reason for us to lose. Uh, for us to lose what is effectively a very serious conflict between us and China, not a, not, a, not a military conflict, but certainly an economic one. There was no reason for us to lose it, aside from the fact that our elite was basically, it's not even so much they were working for the other side, they were working for their interest. And in a sense, China was a proxy. They would have fed off of anyone. China happened to be the power with a huge captive labor force and a growing consumer market. So I think the only difference, I, I think the difference is that the British, the British aristocracy, they didn't, want to, they didn't want to sell off the British people, but that's what's happened to us. Our elite is uh, especially corrupt. Why do you think that, I mean, there's so many threads yeah. here, but I want to get into the specifics in just a second, but one last big picture question. Yeah. Why do you think the people in charge of the United States were so quick to sell out their own country. I mean, was was it purely a profit motive? Yeah. There does seem to be some contempt right. involved. Right. Um, the, in some ways, the roots of it are in the globalist idea, and China really, China really is the centerpiece of the globalist idea. Right. You can't make globalism and all these other things work without China. But once you start incorporating all these ideas, like. Uh, uh, trade, trade is limited by things like borders. Trade is limited by things like national sovereignty. Then you start having people who are actually contemptuous, uh, contemptuous of the country. And, and then, of course, the educational system, 
the academy reinforces all these different things. We've created an elite that has no that has no uh, that has no love or affection for the country. That doesn't share the habits and the mores, the loves, uh, as well as the hates that 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 the rest of the country shares. And once you have that, people in the leadership class who <laughs> who are openly disdainful of the things that the rest of the country loves. And we see how they express their contempt. Lee Smith, the American elite, has sold this country for parts. Uh, the whole interview's full of stuff like that. You can watch Tucker's full show with Lee Smith on Tucker Carlson today by going right now uh, to foxnation.com and you won't regret it.